Hello, welcome to another Somerset Real Air review. Uh, just had a really rubbish day at work again. Um, sick to death of my job, so it's time for some beer. It's Friday night, and we've got from the Thornbridge Brewery. It's their Wild Swan. Uh, it's a white gold pale ale coming in at 3.5% ABV. I've have had this beer before, um, <clears throat> which is part of the reason why um, I wanted to drink it now um, and obviously do a review of it. Um, but it, it, yeah, I might as well say it is a, it is a beer that I do like. 500 ml brown bottle, Thornbridge crown on the top there. Nice smoky opening. Let's get this in the bottle. Bottle glass. Yeah, I seem to be a uh, one at work that gets all the uh, all the rubbish jobs. So uh, get a little bit fed up with it to be honest. But anyway, let's get back to the beer. You don't even care about my job. Um, <coughs> it is really light straw coloured. Plenty of carbonation in there. One finger pure white. Nice sort of foamy head. Sort of fire extinguisher foam. Not too thick. Let's get the nose in there. Now, it smells like a, it's sort of a, it's a, it's a pale ale, but it's a toned down sort of version to, to me. Now this is what I like about this beer. I think, I, actually I'll talk about that when I, when I've tasted it. So you're getting a sort of a mild lemon. Very mild grapefruit. But it's still those nice citrusy flavours you get in a big strong IPA. I'm trying to see. Yeah, maybe a bit of um, pine in there. Very, very, very mild though. But it's a very clean smelling beer um, and like I said the look on it as well I mean that is such a clean glass you can see right through there so clean apart from the obviously the glass is steamed up a little now I think we're just diving with the taste cheers See, what I like about this beer is the fact you get a lot of those really nice, crisp, I'm going to use that word again, I try to avoid it but my vocabulary is not extent enough to, um, you get a nice bitter taste on it. Let's start a bit of carbonation. And it's a very, quite a lot of carbonation. I can't remember it being that carbonated actually. But you get all of those qualities. I'm sorry, I'm really desperate for drinks. <laughs> you get all of those qualities, I think, from or well, not all of the qualities, but you get a lot of qualities um, from a from a, a more powerful, like an IPA. But yeah, it's only three point five percent, so you can you know you can knock a couple of these back and not have to worry about falling over, because um, obviously if you knocked a big six percent or seven percent IPA back or two of them back, you, you, well, personally I'd just be a dribbling mess. But these, you know, you can knock a couple back, refresh yourself. You know, get some good flavour and not be, you know, drunk. It hasn't got the sweetness that the uh, Jaipur and the Kipling um, have. Um, personally, I think my favourite is the is the Jaipur um, between the two of those. I think this is 
like a, just a more mild version. You can still get the same sort of, personally, I think, you still get the same sort of flavours. I was just getting a bit of grassiness then on the nose as I tasted them. But you do get that lovely bitter lemon, grapefruity style, and then a sort of nice, you can taste the malts afterwards in the aftertaste. I think this is a lovely beer. I really do. Um, white Gold Pale Ale, 3.5% ABV, Wild Swan. Um, I won't read all the um, all the Thornbridge uh, stuff on the top because it's the same, pardon me, on every bottle. I'll just read you out the bit about this, this particular beer. The essence of summer in a glass, Wild Swan evokes these long summer days with its brilliant white gold colour, aromas and tastes of a light bitter lemon, hints of subtle herd spiciness and a long hoppy refreshing finish. This is what I'm saying, it's just um, brewed and bottled by the Thornbridge Brewery, Riverside Brewery, Buxton Road, Bakewell, UK. www.thornbridgebrewery.co.uk um, as I say, 3.5% ABV. Um, this is a great beer. I really like this beer for it, it, the fact that you can session it and you get a nice lot of flavour out of it. I think for me, that has got to get a 7.5 out of 10. Brilliant beer. Love it. Thanks for watching. Love to see your comments in the comments box. And I'll see you again soon in another review. Cheers.